Peter Delapena here with the USA Women's Captain Cindy Sriharsha after the last ball defeat to UAE in the last match here at the Women's T20 World Cup Qualifier. First, what are your overall thoughts on the performance today? Well, it's a tough lo uh, loss, but I, I would rather take this rather than the way we've been uh, losing against other teams. But of course, um, great game. I went until the last over. Uh, losing Suhani after the first over also did you know, play a part a little bit. Uh, we would have loved to have ha had her uh, bowl a couple of overs as well. But uh, nevertheless, I think the girls fought till the last ball. It's a great learning. You learn a lot of things when in these kind of games when everybody has contributed in some way or the other been a topic that keeps coming up, lots of learnings, specifically what do you feel the team learned out of this match? Well, I think definitely uh, being in the game until the last ball, uh, understanding that every uh, every run or every catch or everything matters. Um, we did drop a lot of uh, catches uh, that eventually you know, came to bite us in the end, but um, I know the girls in the, in the dressing room are talking about how they can improve their fielding. I mean, skill-wise, batting and bowling is always you know, um, a priority, but they definitely are promising that you know, fielding becomes even more important because no matter what, we have to spend 20 overs on the field. But um, I think they've definitely learned how to stay in the game as much as possible and push it until the last ball. Mention the fielding didn't cost a lot of runs, but not a lot of runs is, was the margin. It was just one run last ball, and, and some of those drops subtle, but it makes a huge difference in the end. Um, it being the last match of the tour, and this being such an exhausting tour, do you feel that the energy levels were flagging that contributed to some of that? Because even aside from the drops, one thing that stood out to me today was the lack of noise coming both from the dugout when the team was batting and then also in the field, whether it was the players in the outfield or from the dugout itself, it was noticeably much quieter today than I think it had been at any other point in the tour. Well, it definitely has been a tough chore for the girls. I mean, having not winning also does, you know, zap your energy a little bit. And I know there's, uh, they are struggling a little bit in terms of not winning the games. They're used to winning the games and um, the energy levels were down. We, we were trying to back up the bowlers as much as possible when we were on the field, trying to be on the field. But of course, you know, it's, it, it has been a tough chore um, losing all, um, out of the nine games, we lost uh, eight, I believe. But uh, I think you know, even to take the game until the last ball was a great effort. Even in the batting, you know, to put up 117, which is the highest score of this for this series for us. But yeah, it's been a great effort by the girls to push this game uh, as long as possible. Highest score of the tour, but I want to bring up a couple things on the batting side. Again, these are just subtle things, but they can make a big difference. Power play, two maidens in the power play. And it was to Isha Oza, it was bowling finger spin. And again, ending the first six at 25 for one, having those two maidens, and going back and watching, there was not a lot of variation in those deliveries. Almost every single ball was on the same spot, and there was not a lot of Disruption, I guess, is the word to try and disrupt her, get her off her line, get her off her length. And in their overall strategy as well, that seemed to be a theme with regards to, they basically bowled four over straight for all their bowlers, or three over straight. There was not a lot of shuffling. The bowlers were allowed to get into a rhythm. There wasn't really much, if any, disruption that was being had throughout the innings. How would you respond to those comments? Well, I mean, definitely power hitting is something that we have to definitely go back and work on and making use of the power play of, you know, just two fielders outside. Even if we can get the bat on the ball and just hit over any of those fielders, you know, we'll be making a change in manipulating the field. Um, I think that's something that the girls will have to go back and work on. Um, I mean, it did uh, probably, Isha being a spinner, I'm not going to take away the credit from her. She did bowl on the same spot, you know, the, she did bowl well. The ball was still going out within being it a new ball. Um, the girls probably weren't used to playing the spinner, bowling that length and line. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's like I've been saying, it's a learning. Um, they might have been a little more cautious. We could have been a little more brave in the first six overs, got a couple of more runs, even 10 runs more than what we got on the board. 
uh, would have made a difference. But um, definitely a lot of learnings that I've been saying that you know the girls are definitely reflecting on what's what's gone in the past 15, 20 days that we've been here. Two more points. Again, kind of layering on to your point about power hitting or the lack of it. Uh, the last five overs, USA into the last five, 81 for two. Only lost one wicket in the last five, and there were 14 dot balls in that stretch. And again, there just seemed to be a lack of disruption, innovation, trying to do something to throw the bowlers out of the rhythm. Again, bowlers who were bowling three straight, four straight overs in that sequence. And you look at the first over, second over of their chase, and immediately Isha Oza, a tip and run single, just playing with soft hands to get a run to get off the mark at the end of the first over and then first ball the second over she sweeps boundary through fine leg and there were a lot of tip and run singles whereas contrasting on the USA side I think you were the only player who played a tip and run single in the entire innings there were a lot of dot balls that were just hammered straight to a fielder um, so it, again in terms of the, the lack of disruption and being creative in terms of power hitting options because the girls are it almost looks like they're exhausting themselves trying to hit every ball so hard but without thinking about where to hit it hard, where to place it, where can USA improve on those things? Well, I definitely think it goes back to the experience and exposures they've had so far. And this is the toughest challenge that they've ever played against. Um, there are a lot more loose balls that we get when we play in domestic season and other, other games that we play. They've, they've not been challenged enough to take those risky singles or just drop the ball and play with soft hands. But something that uh, they have made note of and they've uh, realized that they definitely need to make runs out the good balls and you know see how they can convert those good balls into boundaries or you know just make it any kind of run so um, I do agree that uh, that's uh, one of the areas of improvement for us to go back and work on how to get runs for the good balls. And then another thing and this goes back to nationals last year nationals and regionals this year and again in this match was quite costly two free hits following no balls, and both free hits wound up being a dot ball. How does USA fix that? I think one of the things that, uh, as every batter, needs to have a plan for what's the, you know, what's the free hit plan. Like a bowler has a plan for a free hit. Uh, I know they do because I, well, I play with the bowlers and they always have a plan for a free hit. Uh, the same way, I think as batters, we definitely need to have a plan. It's not just swing, uh, swinging the bat. It's about definitely having plans, looking at the fielders, and having a couple of plans at least. At least, we. It's a crime to not get a single out of, at least a single in a in a free hit. But um, yeah, like I said, a lot of points that we can you know keep discussing. But um, I I still do believe we, the bat, uh, the team is going to be better for the experience that they've got here, the exposure that that they've got here. Um, I think a credit to the girls that the way they've stood up to this challenge of being. So most of them for the first time ever playing for the senior team and in a global qualifier for the first time too. So I don't want to take out the credit of the effort they put in. Uh, they have stood up to all the challenges, even though the, when the tough, has, I, mean, I mean, the going has been tough. When I put the ball into their hands, they've always said yes, since I'll do it for you and do it for the team. Even with whatever ability that they have, they've tried to stood out there and stand for the team. On a personal level for you, you were far and away the leading run score on tour your two career best knocks came on this tour for USA anyway. Playing the way that you did throughout the tour, again, not not just at the start, it was all the way through, start to finish, you were extremely consistent, and just being a senior figure and leading by example in that regard, and putting into context some of the struggles you have had on previous tours, as you said, you learned a lot from the previous qualifier in Scotland and how it changed your approach, your mentality, and building off of the fair break and seeing some of the way other players are approaching it and it really transformed your own game and it was blatantly obvious on this tour. What are you most proud of in terms of your personal run scoring on this tour? I think the way that I've got the runs, I think that that is what I'm, uh, I'm very proud of. Um, I did challenge myself when I was playing, uh, when I was practicing. That's something that changed after fair break is the process of how I was preparing myself. Having talked to Mignon Dupreeze, Haley Matthews, and I don't want to take out, take uh, the credit. Uh, I also want to give a lot of credit to Julia Price, who's been, our, you know, who was our coach previously, and I've worked with her very closely as well. So I don't want to take credit from all this, you know, people who've uh, helped me a lot. Um, I've worked on the preparations. I 
you know, religiously practice the sweep shots. I'm happy the sweep shots are coming. And I know I, I have to go back and work on my short pitch delivery, which, you know, PNG did show me that was uh, uh, my next uh, thing to work on. But I'm glad for the way that I got runs. I knew I was manipulating the fields. I knew I was, it was in the game all the time. Um, I would have liked to have, you know, converted those runs into a win for us. I'm, I'm pretty sad about that, but um, eventually it will come. Um, hoping that the girls can, you know, pick up, you know, if we can build on more partnerships along with me, I think we will be getting more victories. But I, I'm, I'm glad for the way I think the, the runs that I got in this. In terms of the other players, if there's anybody you want to pick out where you feel one or a couple players in particular made big strides and progressed significantly on this tour and, and gives you a sign of that they can contribute even more going forward in the future. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's hard to take a few names, but definitely I think Disha Dingra, Saith and Mahi. And I think in terms of Disha, I think she developed her batting uh, a lot. And we did see a glimpse of what she's capable of, uh, a few scores that she got. Um, Lisa Ramjit as well. I mean, she stuck it out there and you know did the, what the team needed to do. Uh, definitely, she needs. She will. She will come back stronger and go a level up from this experience. Uh, Sai, I'm been extremely um, you know happy with the way Sai has you know turned out over here. I know she she was a replacement. She came in for Moksha, but it didn't look like she was a replacement. You know, walked into the 11, and whenever the ball was thrown at her, she was up for the challenge, um, challenging the you know batters out there. Very you know her variation you know with her googly and you know it has been amazing to see her develop throughout this uh, tournament um, I hope I'm not missing anybody I think those three that just comes to my mind as of now well, I'll throw in one more Bumika Badraju who yeah. ended this leading wicket taker on tour yeah most wickets not just in the qualifier but across the tour as a whole spun USA to victory in Dubai against UAE nearly did it again today uh, as somebody who stylistically very unique <laughs> with her kind of bowling and I think talking to some observers she's a player who I think prior to the tour there was a big question mark about how effective she would be and she stood up to the challenge in, in a very positive way. What impressed you the most about her? Yeah well Bumi if you're watching this I'm so sorry if I didn't, I didn't take your name in the I think it's just that it's he put me on a spot like Peter put me on a spot so <laughs> um, well I, I, like you said I think um, we don't like playing her in the nationals and regionals too and uh, every time Bumi comes on to bowl we're like how, how do we get runs out of her and it's uh, definitely harder the pace that she bowls at um, she definitely has worked on a little bit of variations as well coming around the wicket you know the challenging and she's constantly thinking about the game as well I, what, what impresses me most is she ref reflects on the game every game comes and sits next to me in the bus when we ride right back home and asks about how did it go and what went wrong and what can I do better so she's constantly reflecting on how I can get better every game so she's always in the game and wants to do better so I definitely Bumi is one of them to look forward to in the future. What's the biggest positive memory you're going to take out of this tour? You know, can want to put me in the spot. The UAE win in, uh, in the quadrangular series is the first win for us against a, a higher team rank uh, team. I think that definitely will take back as a memory as the most um, memorable moment. What about it makes it special? Just beating a, a full, mem not a full member, but a, a associate member, which is higher ranked than us, uh, playing them for the first time and beating them in their own uh, you know, home ground is you know, it's definitely having um, and taking the tea uh, I think we probably had the best team playing the 11 at that time but it just worked out the way and I definitely think that's a one memorable moment. Anything else you want to say about today's match or the tour as a whole? Well it's been amazing uh, we'll definitely be looking forward to coming back uh, the next couple of years over here and doing better um, I, like I said the girls have been amazing I, I want to give them all the credit what they've done so far um, they've supported me in all the ways possible I've I've, it's been an honor leading them. I've definitely enjoyed myself this time mentoring them and uh, looking forward to the next few series. All right, USA Women's Captain Sinistri Harsha, thanks again.